honestly, man, Greenville High School is such a great program, man. I, I dedicate all that to my coaches, Coach Lamb in general, man. He's a great strength and conditioning coach. He kept me on it, kept me on a good schedule, and he just kept me locked in before I came here. And I credit all of that to him. And my uh, my skill center, Coach Devar is running. I would definitely say the speed of the game. You know, like high school, you know, you're just running around everyone. Here, technique is really important, man. You got you to gotta really have your stuff down pat, and everyone's fast here, so definitely got to get your technique down. Uh, honestly, man, great, man. Them just helping me. I mean, even back in Greenville, bro, we we were always just workaholics, man. Just getting that work in together and just same thing here. They just brought me in. I actually adapted my work ethic from Josh Sapp, I would say. I came to Greenville 11th grade, and he was a senior. And just the way he worked, man, seeing him off and on the field, just working, working, working each day, day in and day out, just really, really helped me with where I am today. Oh, yeah, definitely a no-brainer once it happened, man. Like I said in, like, pretty much every interview I've done, man, Clemson fan my whole life, and just Dabble sent me in the office and gave me the offer. It, was, I wanted, it, it took everything in me not to commit right there on the spot. Because, you know, I think my dad was more happy than me, though, because I just looked at him, just about to shed a tear. One of the best things ever, man. Yeah, well, I came to a camp in the summer. Uh, I was I was injured at the time, so I couldn't. I was really limited on my reps. But you know, Clemson doesn't offer that early, man. And just just being patient, just being patient, wait my time, and God's gonna put you where you need where you need to be. And I'm here right now. I'm just grateful for that. Most likely my high school coaches, man. Coach P, Coach Lamb, those are my guys right there, man. They just they gon they gonna put their foot on the table for me whenever they can. Just like the whole recruiting process, it started out really slow for me actually. So I would say like late eleventh grade, junior year. So they they were letting me know, meeting me with coaches every single day. Tyler, come down. Tyler, come down. Talk to this coach. Talk to that coach. And just I just really appreciate them for that because they really did impact my life. Amazing, man. Just a dream come true, honestly, man. I, I, I honestly believe that was probably my most, the most calm I've ever been before a game. You know, ever since I've been here, just, just being around great people, I've actually gotten way closer to God, man. Just knowing that at the end of the day, that you have a relationship with him, with the man above, you play so much more freer, and it honestly helps, no doubt. Uh, just a just a great group of guys in general, man. The leaders, they lead. They lead for sure. And people, I mean, anyone can lead on this team. I feel like we have we have players that don't even get in. Like, I would say Clay Sweeney, Jackson Crosby, Zach Jackson, those guys in my wide receiver room, probably the best best guys I've ever met, man. They're just so welcoming and just so open to just helping me and not just being selfish. And I really love that about this team, man. Everyone's like that here, and it's just a great environment. Being a Clemson fan your whole life, you get to do the Tiger Walk tomorrow, or on Saturday, you get to, you know, suit up for your first real game there inside uh, the stadium. What are you most looking forward to? Have you, have, I'm sure you've dreamt of this moment to have it here knocking on the door. What's this like? Uh, once again, man, a dream come true, man. I, I don't think I'm actually going to understand the severity of it until I actually step on that field. But once again, just a dream come true, and I just can't wait for Saturday, honestly. What's your favorite part, having been a fan of the game, at, the, at, at here in Clemson? On the sidelines or in the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, the run down the hill, classic, man. Just 
touching the Howard's Rock and just seeing Dabo sprint down that hill at that age, <laughs> it's, it's amazing just to see the energy he has, man. I, I love it. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. For sure. The hill? Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to practice it a couple times, but I, I believe I'm ready for that hill. I would say just always being a smaller guy, man. And once again, going back on my high school coach, Coach Lamb, man, he's a he's my offensive coordinator, but he's also an O-line coach. So you wouldn't get on that field if you wasn't blocking. So blocking was mandatory in that wide receiver room, and I just adapted that from him. And once again, Josh Sapp, that's, he actually went to offensive lineman sessions to get his blocking better. So just catching on to that and just putting that, implementing that into my game helped me a lot being aggressive and fearless for sure. Yeah, I mean, oh, definitely a change, man, for sure. Everyone's faster, you know. I could just run, run around people in high school, but, you know, going against league guys like Andrew McCuba, Nate Wiggins, it's just... That really builds your confidence, man, and just going up a great defense like that every single every single day of the week definitely builds your confidence going into the game for sure. Um, I felt I felt a couple hits, but you know, it's football. You're gonna get bumps and bruises here and there, but you know you got to get back up and keep going for sure. How would you uh, rate your first game? My first game, I feel like it was it was great, man. It's just, honestly, a dream come true once again. I just love being under those lights, man. I just don't take any of it for granted. And I just thank God for every opportunity he gives me. And just thank you for putting, putting me there, for sure. I actually fished a little bit here and there. But, you know, I have about, I want to say, 10 Bass Pro Shop hats. About every color you can... Name right now, I, I I probably have that color in the in the dresser right now. But I just always love the hats, man. I, I love hats in general. I get that from my dad, man. If you see my pops, you always see him in, in a cap, or uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't really like go on the like oceans and like boats and stuff to fish, but you know, when I was young, there was nothing to do in the neighborhood. We just hit a little creek, catch some creek basses, and you know going about our day oh yeah definitely gonna get oh yeah definitely gonna get close to some fishermen on this team and go fishing out here sometime for sure oh my son my son definitely a dog man that's actually my roommate he just he, he loves the game he loves the game for sure man he I would say he keeps me on track. Like, me and him being roommates is probably the best thing that's, that could have happened, man. Just him pushing me each and every day, me pushing him each and every day. He's, he's, he's just a dog, man. He's crisp with his routes. He's, he's very detailed in what he does. He, he helps me when I need help. He corrects me on stuff. And just, I can't wait to play side by side by him for sure. Thank you. Thank you.